Well, hello and welcome to another Board of Education board meeting recap, this time for the month of August 2023, our very first recap of the year. My name is Duke Bradley, Chief of Staff, and as always, I'm joined today by our Superintendent, Mayor Elizabeth Davis. Mayor Elizabeth, good to see you. Good to see you, Duke, and it's great to see you as we've kicked off another school year with spectacular style. We've had the opportunity to see so much learning, growing, and celebrating as we headed into a new school year with Winning for Kids as our focus. Let's take a quick look. This is what we live for in Henry County Schools. Welcome to the first milestone of getting the school year started and that's welcoming all of our new teachers to Henry County. I'm here at Fairview, and we're about to give out some inaugural recognition of some superstars. Let's go check it out. Okay, before I go, um, I have to share something with you because we're starting a new recognition program. So, inaugural star, Ms. Jackson, and I've got one also for you. And thanks for being a bright spot in our district. Every year, the start of school is nothing short of exceptional, but this year, it truly has been the best first week ever. Welcome back, students and teachers. For, for the start of the 2023-2024 school year in Henry County. We can't wait for a year full of winning for kids. More learning, more growing, and more celebrating. Welcome back. So we've begun the 2023 school year with the mantra of more learning, more growing, and more celebrating with a real emphasis on celebration. And so Mary Elizabeth, our superstar initiative is something that is new for this year. You wanna talk a little bit about it? That's right. And we invite you too to join in with just putting a couple of stars in your pocket when you experience an employee in our organization that shines in the service that they provide or the work that they do, recognize them on the spot and give them a star to just thank them and recognize their incredible contribution to our school community. It's really been a fun way to start with more learning, more growing and more celebrating. And that really set the stage to get into our first uh, Board of Education informational item, which was the second annual update on our strategic plan. Now our strategic plan has 
had a long history of acknowledging the development coming straight from our community's aspirations for the experiences that kids have in our schools and reporting annually on the progress made around those types of commitments is a very significant milestone. We would invite you to visit the comprehensive annual report for our strategic plan that's now available on our website and let's take a listen to some of our Board of Education commentary. Just seeing this all in one place and hearing you talk about the work that our employees made happen over this past year it's just so encouraging to me. I just, I'm so optimistic and excited about the future of Henry County Schools and just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who was involved in making this happen. I am just constantly blown away at the work that our team has been able to accomplish um, and incredibly grateful for this community who has such high dreams and aspirations for our young people. Um, as a graduate of this school system and a former teacher in the school system, it's really just amazing to see these things now available to all of our students. As I sit here and I watch the presentation, I'm just blown away at the work that has been done by this board um, along with Dr. Davis. And I just appreciate you so much as well as your executive staff and all of your staff members because it takes everybody. When I looked at this report, it's like, wow. Now we can see the fruits of our labor over the last two years, and it's really just awesome. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you, especially Dr. Davis. So as is the case every year, uh, we administer the milestones assessment as handed down by the Georgia Department of Education. And our Chief Learning and Performance Officer, Mrs. Tamarian McCrary, gave a comprehensive overview of the performance that our students produced this year. Let's take a look at some of the comments that Mrs. McCrary offered. Your vision, as articulated in a strategic plan, holds us accountable to the state metrics, but then you go above and beyond to expect accountability to continually improving as an organization, including improving on your locally designed outcomes shown here. Today's report will focus on our performance on the spring 2023 Georgia Milestones Assessments. The Milestones Assessment System includes state assessments used to hold us accountable to the performance of our students in specified grades and courses. The assessments span all three grade levels, elementary, middle, and high school, and are designed to provide information about student readiness for the next grade level or course. As displayed on the screen in grades three through eight, our students take the end of grade assessments in English, language arts, and mathematics, with the addition of science in fifth and eighth grades and social studies in grade eight. In high school, and for those students in middle school enrolled in a high school physical science course, end of course tests are given in algebra one, biology, American literature, and US history. Your core belief that all students can and will learn at or above grade level is the very foundation for our next steps. You, as a board, you've been incredibly proactive in investing in and ensuring that our teachers have the tools that they need to take the next steps. We will not be satisfied until our students, all students, are performing in the highest performance bands. I think that this is a very quintessential moment in time that as we talk to our community about one, why we do what we do, but then the resources that we need to have to do what we're trying to do. This is a moment to where, as you have so eloquently stated about opportunities, because the data you shared to us is that there are many opportunities that we must take now. This is gonna be a combination of us all working together to really support our uh, testing. But thank you for all of this information. And I'll just be honest, I was thinking our scores were gonna be a lot lower because of where we were coming from. Um, so kudos to our teachers and our staff and everyone for being as well as they've done. The Georgia Milestone Assessment is a very significant instrument designed to demonstrate as a public institution how we're held publicly accountable for the learning of students while on our watch. Now the results from the spring of 2023 demonstrated some very promising indicators of exceptional learning taking place right here in Henry County. 
A, a real highlight was our elementary school mathematics performance and really seeing that there's been growth year over year for the past several years in each of those third, fourth, and fifth grade levels. There was also incredible performance in reading proficiency, particularly where we see our seventh graders and our high school students showing a real impressive proficiency, uh, especially as compared to our region and our state performance. And for a full comprehensive look of our entire milestone report, I'd encourage you to visit the website or look specifically at the data reports. But in the meantime, there is so much to celebrate. There are so many schools within each of our clusters that posted double digit gains in many, many um, areas of performance. And I think it's really why we are focused on more learning, more growing, and more celebrating in Henry County Schools. So for as many wonderful things that are happening in our district around academics and learning and performance, we also have a lot of wonderful projects happening around construction and East Blast. To begin, we have been reporting for several months around our HVAC project for our elementary gymnasiums. I'm happy to announce that that project is complete. So every one of our elementary schools now has a really welcoming uh, and inviting space to have uh, events and to welcome parents and families. And so that is something that we're really, really truly excited about. The new Birch Creek Elementary School that we will be welcoming into the Henry County Schools community in the fall of 2024, I'm excited to share, is well underway. We have conducted our groundbreaking. We've got lots of construction activity happening on the, at the Birch Creek site, and we'll be looking forward to welcoming parents and families into that school community in just a few months. Also, school messaging signs will be um, in front of every one of our schools this year. And so when you pass by a Henry County Schools, you should see some activity around um, new messaging signs as you enter into those school spaces. Also worth mentioning is the groundbreaking and progress being made on our transportation facility uh, that will be on the west side of the highway and really improve the efficiencies of our transportation services for our students and families on a daily basis. That location um, sitting just behind Oakland Elementary School uh, will be up and running in the next 12 to 18 months and will really improve the infrastructure of transportation services for our organization. So really our construction and East Blast program is uh, is thriving uh, with on schedule uh, delivery of those commitments made to our community, but it also set the stage for our financial reports. And our financial reports provided by Shanika Clay, our chief financial officer, started with the closing out of the FY23 fiscal year by providing the June financial report. And what we were able to see is that our expenditures underpaced our expected uh, expenditures for last year and our revenue overpaced our projected revenue for last year and largely that was attributed to better strategy in investments particularly in our capital funds as well as a better than expected performance of our local economy. Now closing the FY23 school year got the opportunity to kick off the FY24 school year with the July financial report where we are just at the very early stages of seeing how this fiscal year will take shape. Now, the construction report, the financial report, it all paved the way for the business meeting of the Board of Education, and in which case we started with our local facilities plan. You wanna talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so little do you know that we are actually required by law to have a facilities plan in collabor that is created in collaboration with the Georgia Department of Education. Now, if you have enjoyed any of our school sites during these first days of school, you'll notice that we have wonderful facilities. We also wanna make sure that we are continuously planning and thinking ahead about how do we make sure that we continue to have world-class facilities for our parents and families and most certainly for our students and so the board did in fact approve the new five-year facilities plan and so we're looking forward to implementing that over the next several years yeah I mean the good news about the local facilities plan is that this is where the Georgia Department of Education actually funds the growth projects that are brought to our community based on our student enrollment uh, increasing. And uh, this partnership with the Georgia Department of Education is really an important stage that's set for the next five years, but that plan won't be complete until the end of this year in which we'll have the opportunity to really understand what um, eligibility we have for state funding. 
Now that uh, local facilities plan, um, coupled with significant investments in CTAE, um, also unanimously approved at the evening's uh, consent agenda, included improvements in our early child care, um, particularly our play sets uh, for our CTAE pathway for early child care, among many other CTAE pathway investments that were approved by the Board of Education. And that was also coupled with our kindergarten, first, second, and third graders all receiving new headphones with microphones to support their instruction this coming year. Now, finally, we wrapped up with our Perkins grant. That's right, and the board approved the receipt of Perkins grant funds, which we will be using to continue our investment in career and technical education, which as you know from our Community Inspired Strategic Plan is a critical area of development and investment for our Board of Education. And that was really a wrap for the uh, agenda items that were before the Board of Education at this August 14th, 2023 board meeting. But as every board meeting, we had the opportunity to place center stage the performance of students. So let's take a look at the Woodland Middle School uh, String Quartet. In addition to observing our young people perform, which is always the very best aspect of our board meetings, we also had awards and recognition where so many students, faculty members, and members of the Henry County team were recognized for their exemplary accomplishments over this past school year. Let's take a look at a few. We always take a moment to celebrate that when the board takes action on personnel, it positions so many leaders in new positions. And so let's congratulate those who were appointed to new leadership roles at this month's board meeting. And at the same time, we had the opportunity to celebrate that Dr. Katie Truitt has been appointed superintendent in Lee County, Georgia. And we are so thankful for her incredible investment in doing such amazing work as a leader here in Henry County. And we wish her and Lee County nothing but the best. Well, that's going to do it for our August board meeting recap. Um, Mayor Elizabeth, it's going to be a fantastic year. Uh, you mentioned earlier that we had so much energy and enthusiasm for the first days of school. And really, that's really just going to set the tone for the balance of this school year. So again, we thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you again next month. Take care. While this was just the board recap, you can view the entire board meeting on our website. Also, before we let you go, we encourage you to follow us on social media. That's all from Henry County Schools today. Remember, we are always in pursuit of exceptional and we'll see you next month.